I would like to raise a topic about storytelling and visual storytelling and then to tap into storytelling of Jesus and how he reach out to people to share the message and message of God and first First of all, I would like to reflect a little bit and ask a question. Um, where do we look and where we draw the inspiration from? Is it each other? Is it this level of looking at that we see and are inspired? And how often do we actually look up physically? Um, how often we look at the sky? or maybe um, uh, graceful buildings that are presenting the glory of God. And, and so, and let's think about, um, yeah, where, maybe you, you, you're welcome to interact, just, so, okay, I'll try to make it shorter. So, um, Basically, we can actually, there is an um, interesting video, you will better, you will later see the video, but it's about a, a pianist who was attached a device that would actually scan what they are looking at. So it is possible um, to know where we are looking at. And um, so that we can ourselves, we could know where we look and for how long time. I'm Daniel Belyovsky, and I'm a professional pianist. I've been playing for 33 years. I am a professor, a filmmaker, and a Steinway artist. You guys ready? Yep, look at the camera. Okay, look at Alex. Look at me. All right, Muna. Good. All right, go ahead. In looking at the footage, I expect that uh, for the most part, I won't be looking at my hands, but probably just getting reference zones. For the more involved pieces, I will have to at least coordinate where my hands have to go. So I'll look probably ahead of where my hands have to be. Do you want to give it a try? I'm Charlotte Bennett, and I've been studying with Daniel Belyovsky for two years. You know, your, your eyes are generally a lot busier than I would have expected, um, only because this piece between the two hands, especially that segment, sits in a fairly limited register. It was me making this taking of nah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. How come I don't feel that way when I'm playing? If, if I look at one hand or the other, I as soon as possible jump back to the middle. So it's inter it's interesting for me. I didn't. I don't think I ever realized that I do that. sight reading you have to be a little bit ahead of where your hands are so the eyes have to be ahead and uh, I find it interesting that I kind of scan vertically as well as linearly horizontally so I'm going up and down up and down and I'm scrolling along both things were in peripheral vision the whole time so you weren't really looking directly at one thing or the other mm -hmm. totally different than where he's looking, I'm looking directly at the music and kind of looking directly between the two instead of keeping them both in my peripheral vision. 
it's really interesting. Again, it's something that I, I would expect as a teacher is until you get really comfortable with the keyboard, mm -hmm. you're going to continuously look back and forth like this between the, the sheet music and the keyboard. And because I've just had so much more experience, relatively speaking, you know, no offense, but uh, uh, I just feel very comfortable with the keyboard and I don't have to look. So I'll show you a few, few photos. I did um, my research and this um, dissertation on looking at how we can draw inspiration from art to see how art has used elements of nature and that in film, whether it's photography or painting, we can see that that it suddenly it, it becomes more important that we we take examples from from famous um, topics, especially how famous um, artists have portrayed them. And this is example of the film. So. Um, I'll show you a little clip of how I tested these principles and I tried to film actors in front of the sky to create silhouette and And the second part, small one minute part, explains the one shot where there were people standing in the background, the other cameraman didn't notice, and I had to remove them afterwards, and there were only two people running, um, and I filmed them. So God said, be fruitful and multiply. So I tried to, <laughs> to do this this way. <laughs> And then I found some element of smoke to, to put in the background to add the tension of the story. And so this is combination of different elements. And I believe that Jesus used extensively visual effects in the stories. When there was a storm, God uses effects all the way through the Bible. So when the Moses was speaking with God uh, up in the mountain, it was surrounded by smoke. When Jesus was at, at the storm, and or so the elements of uh, water, uh, thunder, rain, um, fire, wind, um, these elements we cannot control. I think we can really use them to show the glory of God that um, in a very powerful way in, in our own art. So, um, so some practical advices we can, uh, what we could use, we could um, create some little um, illustrations, whether it's painting or, or film, to raise the question. And Jesus use the method of asking questions 
and through the parables and and I think that as we saw in previous presentations uh, many paintings include this parable and asking a question and I have a list of um, Jesus questions that he asked um, that I look at looked at and that we can include in the content that we create and these questions um, as the writer Ellis Potter said to ask people questions that only God could answer that only Jesus could answer and then to raise the dialogue so that would be the purpose and we could do it whether we interview some people if we use a medium of film or or we as a base for discussion and and then we open up people for for discussion as well as we can use um, and we see how the colors really change um, this is more the technical aspect that we um, my part of my course was also playing around and learning how to use colors and mood to see how the colors like this is the shot before and then how every detail really adds every element if we actually highlight the nature if we highlight the water we add to the color we highlight the color of the faces how it really adds and draws our attention so as you know that um, from the art theory there is a way how eye travels when we see the painting so we can look at it more deeper and, and to ask the question where do we want our viewers eye to travel where do we want and then there are techniques to create a vignette that draws our eye to the center or we are given this um, opportunity to to direct viewers eye so I encourage where would we direct the eye that of the viewer an open question to everyone to our hearts and let's study Bible more a uh, way of how where Jesus draw it what Jesus asked okay. thank you Thanks.